Thank you for joining us at windservetoots.com. Today we are actually going to be installing the Internet Information Service, the IIS service, on this Windows uh, 2008 server, and we are also going to be installing the application server. These are two roles, it's very easy to get done. And the reason why we are installing these two services specifically is because we will be installing uh, WSUS uh, 3.0. Um, that is a Microsoft uh, service that allows us to to deploy security hotfixes, service packs, um, things like that for all of our uh, Microsoft-based applications instead of them having to go out on the internet um, internally. So it's a nice feature. So here you see we selected add roles and we are going to add the application server service and we're going to just select the defaults for this. It's perfectly fine. And then we are going to select the web server role, that is IIS. We're going to select next. So here we have, it's going to tell us that we are going to, it's the introduction of the application server. Again, we're just going to select the default options for the application server. Now this, we're moving on to IIS. Now we have all the default options for IIS, but we're going to need to install a couple of other um, features in order for WSUS to work. So we are going to select ASP.NET, and we're going to add all the other um, required services for ASP.NET. Then we are going to need Windows Authentication. Oh, I passed it there, I think. Yep, there it is, Windows Authentication. And we are going to also need access to the dynamic content compression. And lastly, we need to select the IIS 6 management compatibility option. And then that IIS metabase compatibility, that's also required, but that's selected with the IIS 6 uh, management capability. So here we have an overview of what we're going to install. We have all the breakdown of the services. So we're just going to select install. And this is just going to take a moment. This actually doesn't take too long. Just going to let this run through here. All right, and so we've just about finished up here. We see installation successful for both of those roles up there. Excellent, so we know that we've succeeded in installing what we needed for the WSUS uh, 3.0 server. And the next video that we're going to be doing will be the actual WSUS uh, 3.0 install on this particular server. So please, if you're interested in learning how to do that install, um, watch the next video. Hopefully it'll be very informative. And thanks for watching here on windservetoots.com.